Greetings everyone, the Goods are Night here, and today we will be reviewing the KSC M3 or M93R. So, I'm not really a big fan of Berettas, but this has been lying around. I figured we'd give it a review. So, most importantly, single shot, three round burst. Three round burst is pretty awesome, so I figured why waste time? All of our safety gear is on, so let's get started. It comes with a decent sized magazine. Load that in. Rack it, and let's see what this thing does, shall we? You can't see the target, but... Pretty awesome. And three round burst, for those of you who like, uh... Well, keeping targets down with nine millimeter. Finish her off in semi. Yeah, locks back, win finished. So, don't pouch it. So what is there to say? Well, outside of the fact, I don't really care for M9s. I'm more of a uh, Glock sort of guy, but if you give me three round burst, I'm gonna be really hard pressed to say no. And in this case, well, this is pretty gnarly. So anyway, I'll the magazine, the dump pouch, like an hard hard. So you wanna do, is although this is great for a semi, it does have a bit of girth to it. It's a bit heavier than a Glock. Glock being mostly polymer, this being more metals and everything, but outside of all that, it's more of a hand and a half weapon. Now the three round burst does include the need for forward grip. So on a real Beretta, this is far more useful, but for here, what this basically lets you do is you don't even have to wrap the finger down. You wrap your finger underneath here, thumb comes under this way, like so. And it gives you a, uh, a support platform that you can uh, press down on to keep your muzzle from rising from the kickback, which there's not that much of. Although in close quarters, you'll probably be doing more of your standard handgun thing, but you can also get that grip going so the kick doesn't throw your weapon off. Which, again, nine millimeters, so how much kick are you expecting? But all that aside, it handles well. It's a decent weapon. And being KSC means you can run it with uh, propane instead of just uh, your normal Freon sort of HC, the hell is it even called? HFC 134 Alpha, so options. It's handy, it's got a large trigger guard, so you can also grip it, and you can even run your thumb through there, although it's ill-advised. There's one wrong jerk and your uh, handgun's going off like a, uh, an artard. So anyway, yeah, so we've got some options. Everything's pretty sexy on it. It does have an external hammer, so something to look out for, but three round burst. I mean, seriously, I am a huge fan of three round burst and it, it's just not included on enough weapons. They're like, eh, we'll do the semi and we'll give it a, we'll get full auto. And I mean, for gas weapons that could do burst, love them. Absolutely fantastic. That's probably the key selling point of this whole, uh, this whole handgun here. So other than that, the fact that you can use uh, propane, awesome. How many rounds from the magazine? Well, I didn't actually count them, so probably somewhere around 40 to 50, I'd say, given how many shots I was able to get off on a single mag, so. And these mags do fit in a standard magazine pouch. I mean, uh, I have inserts and I can't receive that, but I've got, oh, we'll call it a standard magazine pouch, 511. See, I totally missed that. Missed it again. I have poor depth perception. There it is. These are also tinted dark and it's late, so. Yeah, so they'll fit in your standard magazine pouch just fine. And they won't go anywhere. Ready when you need them. So, all in all, gnarly little gun. I know a lot of people have been going... I, I just said I like Glocks. And the Glock 18C is pretty gnarly, but, uh... Three round burst. Three round burst is gonna beat out full auto for me almost every time as far as a uh, weapon sexiness goes, so now if a Glock came with three round burst. But yeah, so awesome. I would recommend this gun and it's uh honestly if you can only get a single weapon, you don't really wanna get a uh, an M4 and you if you just want to run a single pistol or hell two pistols, absolutely phenomenal. I'd probably wanna run dualies. This is the CSGO kids we call them, but gnarly, fantastic little model. Highly recommend it, so let me know if you have any questions, but 
really that's all I got for it. Quick selector switch. Sights are incredibly easy to use. I can't even tell if that's lined up because of these shaded Googles. But yeah, so all I got for you guys. Gnarly simple disassembly is easy. Works like a normal M9. Yeah, so cheers everyone. Hope you enjoyed the review. And uh, I enjoyed shooting it. So if you get a chance, try one out. Cheers.